this old image that you can borrow from my folder or you can find any old black and white image and um, a little bit of a new habit here. So I always like to keep this original and I like to keep it locked and I make a duplicate of the same layer. That way, if I make any mistakes with this layer, I can go back to the original and use that and kind of start from scratch. So I do like to keep that. And then I'm going to hide this layer because I don't really need to see it. It's locked. It's good to go. So if you have a black and white image open and go to image mode, we just want to make sure that it's an RGB image. If it's truly a grayscale image, it might say grayscale, but we're going to colorize this image. I know it has a bunch of cracks. That's going to be a different tutorial. Um, so mode, make sure it says RGB color. Under filters, there's this thing called neural filters. And it takes a moment, but it launches new filters. And there's one called colorize. So if you see one and it, it might say download, that means you have to download the filter. I already downloaded one called Colorize. So originally I had the download button and I want to apply. You might need to download it first and I'm going to apply it by clicking this button and it's going to colorize my, my, um, my image and it's all based on artificial intelligence. I will tell you that this is a newer feature in Photoshop. This wasn't available in earlier versions. So I am using 2022 or 2023. And so this is in a newer version, but it does use a little bit of artificial intelligence to do that. And then once I have that, I can play with the saturation and adjust it. It gives me a preview that's a little bit too much. I actually like the way it colorized it, so I don't want to make too many changes, but you can adjust this to get maybe the pinks and their skin tones or Maybe I need to go more purple or more green. And look at the blues in the pictures or the yellows in the pictures. And you can look through some of these results. And once you get it, you can say, okay. And that's a nice way to colorize an image. There are other ways to colorize an image. This is a brand new one. Um, and I really love it. It's a really good way to work on image colorizing.